Our next speaker this afternoon is a very good friend and Member of Parliament for Birmingham, Steve McCabe. Steve has a very varied political career, including being the Government Whip, Home Office Affairs Select Committee Member, Parliamentary Private Secretary to the Home Secretary, Parliamentary and Private Secretary to the Education Secretary. But most importantly, he's a very good friend of the community for many years. I'd like him to come and say a few words. Mr. President, distinguished visitors, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be with you today at the 44th Jalsa. I'm told this is a slightly grander event than the first one that was held in a, a small hall, I think, in South London. Uh, so I'm very pleased to be here. In fact, the fact that this is such a grand event, 30,000 people on farmland in the south of England, I'm surprised there aren't at least 12 BBC presenters and BBC film crews, because I thought that was a BBC policy these days, but perhaps Glastonbury attracts a different sort of uh, audience from the people you have here. Nonetheless, I want to say it is a real pleasure to be with you. I also want to, as other speakers have said, comment on events in Lahore. It's obviously a very sad and tragic state of affairs. I noticed in the Times newspaper today that the Secretary of State for International Development has said that he hopes to increase the aid contribution to Pakistan in the years ahead with a particular focus on education. I support that, but I hope in return the Pakistani authorities will realise that we can't afford to see any more of the atrocities that have been allowed to happen in Lahore, and I hope our aid programme will be monitored on that basis. Finally, I want to mention two things that uh, I think I've learned about the Ahmadiyya Muslims. Firstly, um, I was at uh, the Tilton Road Mosque in Birmingham a couple of months ago. I think the Lord Mayor mentioned it earlier uh, for a, a charity walk. And I just simply want to thank all those people who came on what wasn't uh, the best day in terms of weather and uh, who raised so much money for charity, including money for the Acorns Children's Hospice in my own constituency, a very worthy cause, and I'm very grateful to you for your support. And finally, I'd like to mention uh, Humanity First, which uh, some of us had an opportunity to look at in more detail earlier today. It seems to me that there are very few organizations that could better epitomize the philosophy of your religion the fact that you operate in so many countries, in so many continents, the fact that you do your level best to help people, whoever they are, when they're in need. And I, if I can say this without embarrassing him, I thought the young student from Swansea University who talked with so much enthusiasm about the aid project he'd been involved in entirely encapsulated the wonderful work that you do. I salute you as an organization. I admire your religion and your beliefs, and I'm happy to call myself a friend. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Steve McCabe. Uh, gentlemen, uh, His Holiness has just arrived, so... Uh